Huge Apple Silicon Roadmap, third generation leak, breaking Mac news. A report just dropped from the information that outlines the future roadmap of Apple Silicon with code names and much more. This can't wait till Monday. I'm Mike Cave Dave, and as I speak, I'm on the brink of 10,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already, please smash that button right now, and I promise you won't regret it. So we have a number of codenames, Ibiza, Lobos, Palmer, and Rhodes, all European famous holiday destinations. So for macOS, we get California. For Apple Silicon Chips, we get European beaches. Nice. But let's get into the meaty stuff, or I guess if, like, you are vegetarian, the, the tofu stuff? These processors all appear to have two dies uh, for each, unlike the M1, the M1 Pro, and the M1 Max, which could be a way of splitting the GPU from the CPU and the other IP, or simply to increase yield by making the individual chips smaller so it's easier to mix and match the different chips with the different number of active versus failed cores. So binning can be a lot more accurate. Though this would presumably need an incredibly fast fabric between those chips to not add latency. Could we be looking at a chiplet design? So getting down to the actual SOCs, Ibiza is the efficiency cores, apparently the third generation of Apple Silicon, aimed at the future iPad Pro and MacBook Air, so a presumptive M3 chip. And this is currently in the design phase right now. These chips will have a balance of efficiency cores and performance cores, and if the current M1 is anything to go by, most likely four of each. Now, Lobos and Palmer, they are the more powerful SoCs destined for the third generation of Apple Silicon MacBook Pros, with Rhodes being the second generation, the M2 Pro and M2 Max being the likely names for this. This Rhodes SoC has already passed from the design phase to TSMC, who are currently running production trials. Now, that doesn't mean we should hold off on the current MacBook Pros that have just been released, that are just blowing everyone's minds right now, but it does seem to indicate a regular update path. If these MacBook Pro chips are already in test production, it's probably a safe bet to say that the M2 has already passed this phase a while ago. And that means that a spring release for the M2 MacBook Air, and possibly the iPad Pro as well, is pretty realistic. Bear in mind these M2 MacBook Airs are the ones that were expected to come in multiple colours, with the flatter design, with the wedge gone, with white keyboards, white bezels, and that notch that we all love so much. But there's also information about the Mac Pro desktops. It's expected, as I thought, to contain multiple M1 Macs or future generation processors inside, meaning that the Mac Pro, assuming the rest of the range gets annual updates, would also be fair game for annual updates, and that is a massive turn up for the books compared to what we have right now and in the past, where we got a 2013 Mac Pro, then we got a 2019 Mac Pro, and nothing has changed since. Regular updates for the Mac Pro? Big news. So, there we go. The third generation of Apple Silicon is already being designed and while the world is still busy being stunned by the new MacBook Pros. But here's the big question on everyone's lips. How are they going to add a notch to the Mac Pro?